like I said before, I, I like to give a lot of soap. Customers like it. I'd rather give more than not enough and be stingy. A lot of car wash owners like to be stingy and just give the minimal amount so they save money on soap, but not me. Hey guys, it's Chris Atkins here and welcome back to the Car Wash Chronicles. Today, I'm just gonna show you how to use a self-service car wash the best way that I believe. I'm just on my way to one of my car washes, the one on Main Street. And basically, I'm just gonna show you how to use all the different functions. So the next time when you go to a self-serve car wash, you will know exactly what to do to get the best results. And unfortunately, it's not the best sort of weather today. It's a little windy and cloudy. Basically, I just wanna make this video because a lot of people come up to me at the car wash and ask me, what functions do what, what order to use them in, and how exactly to use them. So hopefully this will show you guys how to use it. And that's providing that the car wash closest to you or the one that you always go to has all the functions that I have. I got a 10 rotary switch, so that means I have 10 different functions. So a lot of car washes only have six or eight, so you might have to skip out on a few things that I have. So here we are, we start by putting in tokens. One token is worth $1. So it's three, four, Five, I put in five, so that's uh, 10 minutes, which is plenty of time to wash a car or a small truck like mine. So I start with the tire cleaner. You know, scrub the rims, get in there, scrub the tires. Most car washers have these. Some do, some don't, but most do. And if your car wash doesn't, I recommend you get another car wash. And there you have it, nice clean rims and tires. Next, we're gonna switch it to the dirt remover. Comes out of this little blue gun. It's pretty much like a pre-soak, really strong soap that pretty much gets most of the dirt off before you scrub it with the brush. As you can see, I just love to cover the car in the dirt remover. Give it a really good pre-clean. And customers love this. I mean, a lot of car washers don't have them, but I put it in mine just because, you know, customers love them. Keeps them in the bay longer. Just gotta give the customers what they want. Give them the best product. That's what I believe. So essentially I would go to the soap brush now and you know use the soap brush on top of it. But I decided just to show you guys the high pressure soap. So I got a lot coming out. I could almost adjust that to make not as much come out, but again, I like to give customers a lot of soap. Keeps them happy, keeps them coming back. So now I'm gonna to go to the soap brush, which is where where you can take your time. Give it a good scrub, get all that dirt off, even though most of it's already off because of the pre-soak. There you go, give the, give the bonnet a good scrub. You guys in America would say the hood. I still say bonnet. <laughs> This is basically a staple at every car wash, every self-serve car wash obviously has a scrubbing brush. Hopefully there's just a good amount of soap that comes out of it. Like I said before, I, I like to give a lot of soap, customers like it. I'd rather give more than not enough and be stingy. A lot of car wash owners like to be stingy and just give the minimal amount so they save money on soap, but not me. It's all about the best product. And then I rinse that off just with the, the rinse high pressure water. Pretty self-explanatory. Hose the car down. And by now it should be starting to look pretty clean. And once we do the rinse off, then we'll just put the finishing touches on with the wax.
like I said before, it was very windy that day, so you can see all the water getting sprayed everywhere. But this is proof, even on a windy day, go down and wash your car. Almost done with the rinse. Now we're going to switch it to the wax, which leaves it nice and shiny and leaves it um, makes the water kind of run off like beads. So a lot of the time when I'm driving home, if it starts raining, I don't even need the windshield wipers on because the, the water just beads up and I can still see perfectly. So as funny as that sounds. But again, I like to give a lot of wax. Don't need to smother it too much, but just enough to cover the car. And then I like to go back to rinse and rinse the wax off with the high pressure before using the spot free because the spot free comes out at 300 psi which is a lot weaker. So I like to give it a quick rinse with the high pressure water. And then I'll switch it to the spot free rinse. Which a lot of people don't really know what spot free rinse is. It's basically just filtered water you know it's um the rinse is the city water which can be sometimes hard depends what city you're in and when it dries it can leave spots so basically this is spot free water it's it's filtered it goes through a whole ro system with filters and it cleans the water so basically it dries spot free because a lot of people like to wipe their car down with a, a rags or even the blue towels that we sell out of the vending machines. But with this, you can just get in the car and drive away and just set your dry spot free. It's great. Again, a lot of car washers have this. Some of them don't actually work that well, but I put a brand new system in, so mine works great. Main Street, Hesperia. And then the final function is the air dry, which is kind of unique to a lot of car washers a lot of car washers don't have the air dry, but I think it's a great function. A lot of customers love it. Basically, it's just powerful air coming out of a hose and you just dry the car. And you can see the way the water is running off the car, that's from the wax. And I mean, it doesn't get much cleaner than that. That's as clean as the car's gonna get. And the good thing about this air dryer is it gets, gets in all the crevices, especially around the windows. Because if you were to drive away and put the window down while the car is wet, it's going to leave streak marks all over the window. But this, you just dry it off, gets in all the crevices and the cracks, and you can put the window down and drive away, and you won't have any streaks. So again, just another great function. I like to give customers all the different types of options, a couple of different soaps, wax tire cleaner and the air dry and for car wash owners essentially it's just air you don't have any chemicals to buy you know it's it's a great added feature to make some extra money for your business because you're just giving out air and that's pretty much it you can be as detailed as you want you can dry the whole thing completely, but my 10 minutes was up. 10 minutes was plenty, plenty of time to wash the truck. Most people have cars, so they could wash it a lot quicker or more detailed. And there you have it. For those of you who weren't sure how to use a self-serve car wash, now you know.